On Monday, President-elect Donald Trump threatened to impose a 25% tariff on goods from Canada and Mexico as long as those nations permitted immigration across the U.S. border. In addition, he declared that he would apply an extra 10% tariff to Chinese goods because the Chinese government had not fulfilled its pledge to execute drug traffickers. Trump said that these measures would be implemented on the first day of his presidency. As he worked on the presidential transition from Mar-a-Lago, Trump described the dramatic measures in two tweets on Truth Social on Monday night. All products coming into the United States and its ridiculous open borders, he claimed, will be subject to the tariffs imposed by Canada and Mexico. Until drugs, especially fentanyl, and all illegal aliens stop this invasion of our country, this tariff will remain in effect. In addition, the president-elect implied that Canada and Mexico had the absolute right and power to easily solve this long-simmering problem, implying that he wants the neighbors to increase border patrols to prevent migrants from entering the U.S. illegally. Trump also expressed frustration over the deadly opioid fentanyl continuing to enter the United States from China. Trump stated, I have had numerous conversations with China regarding the enormous quantities of drugs, especially fentanyl, being sent into the United States, but to no avail. The incoming president lamented, Chinese representatives promised to impose their harshest punishment, death on drug dealers caught doing this, but regrettably, they never did, and drugs are flooding into our country, mostly through Mexico, at levels never seen before. We will be imposing an extra 10% tariff on all of China's numerous products entering the United States of America, on top of any other tariffs, until they cease, Trump declared. I appreciate your consideration of this issue, he continued. Trump has previously promised to remove China's preferential treatment in trade and impose tariffs of more than 60% which would be significantly higher than those imposed during his first term. His hardline stance on illegal immigration and halting the supply of fentanyl into the country helped him win re-election earlier this month. The Republican promised to spearhead the biggest deportation in American history throughout his campaign. Trump discussed the large number of aliens traveling to the border before his swearing-in on January 20th on Truth Social Monday night. Trump remarked, a caravan of thousands of people from Mexico appears to be unstoppable in its quest to come through our currently open border. On its approach to the United States, a, a caravan has been seen navigating through Mexico. In the past, President Joe Biden has attempted to deter migrants from entering the country illegally by threatening to deny them asylum if they enter between ports of entry. Over the course of the summer, that policy modification reduced unlawful crossings by 40%. Trump was also chastised by Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris for sabotaging a bipartisan immigration bill that would have strengthened border security. Trump now intends to blame this issue on America's neighbors. The belief that he would be more effective than Democratic contender Harris at reducing inflation also contributed to the Republicans' election. In the wake of the COVID-19 outbreak, Americans have complained about the high cost of living during Biden's administration. According to pollsters, many people think Trump can lower costs. However, a number of experts have cautioned that because expenses would be passed on to American consumers, high tariffs may actually hurt them. 